Hey Capricorn, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for February 2015. This month I laid out the Rainbow Tarot spread for you and pulled an additional card from Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. Before we get started, I'd like to address something here that has been brought to my attention. I've received many messages on Facebook, private messages, many emails, and read many comments on the comment boards that many people are finding their rising sign videos and their moon sign videos are turning out to be very accurate for them. And when I started the videos in June, I never would have thought that would have been the case, but I've come to find this out through these communications with my viewers. So I'd like to recommend if there's ever a month that you watch of my videos that you feel are not making sense to you or not resonating with you in some way to please check out your rising sign and or your moon sign videos. If you do not know your rising sign, you can find this out easily by going into your browser and typing the words free natal chart or free birth chart and there will be several websites that will come up. When you go to one of those websites, you will have to enter the month and day of your birth, your city that you were born in, and your birth time, which is majorly important to get that information about where your rising or ascendant, it is also called, sign is and where your moon sign is. Once you plug in that information, you will be able to print out a chart that tells you where all the planets were at the time of your birth. Once you have your rising sign information, you can then go watch your rising sign videos and not only just my rising sign videos, not just my videos, but you can also watch other astrologers videos here on YouTube. Go and watch your rising sign because this will give you more insight and information. So I just wanted to add that there. <clears throat> so Capricorn, to start your reading for February 2015, you have the Three of Cups and you are not the first sign to get this in this position. Now, the Three of Cups to me is a card that, that symbolizes uh, attending gatherings and parties, celebrations, it can also be a celebratory conclusion to something in your life that's now coming to a close. I feel that some of you Capricorns are going to be spotted and eyed up for a promotion. You're going to be talking to somebody who gives you a lot of insights and uh, boosts up your career or gives you insights and helps you figure out ways to go or directions in your career. Be firm and stand your ground. Uh, do not let anybody rock your world. So if you're working with anybody that's trying to throw you off your game or unsettle you in some way by creating some kind of competition or um, disputing some of your angles or you know perspectives on things at work, do not be thrown by that and make sure you stand firm and stand your ground. People are paying attention to you. They're listening to what you're saying. They're taking note. Even if you think that having a firm stance will be to your detriment, I do not feel that's the case. I feel it will actually be to your benefit to hold your ground. I feel February may feel like a little bit of a challenging month for you, Capricorn, because you may feel like your career or your future of your career could be threatened or be feeling like you're being challenged, like it's being challenged in some way. Some of you may get the idea to leave the company that you're with and to get a new job and start over at a new position elsewhere. For 
some of you Capricorns, because you know, Capricorn, as I always say, this is a general reading. To get a reading specifically for you, you would need to have a private reading. So these messages here will not apply to all Capricorns because it is a general reading. I feel that some of you Capricorns are going to be talking to somebody that lives in another state or a, has a business or a career or job opportunity for you in another state. And you may leave the state you're in and go inspect it and look it, look at it and check it out. If it's not a job, it could be a home or this could be both. I do feel that this year you're going to find that money comes to you gradually and steadily in a stream. I'm not feeling big whooshes of money coming at you, but I do feel like you are going to do well financially, but it's going to be holding a very steady course. I don't see your finances being erratic, either in the positive or negative sense. For some of you Capricorns, I do feel that you're going to begin to travel a lot more for your work. I have the feeling that some of you Capricorns would like to get out of where you are working and start over somewhere new and somewhere fresh or even with just a new fresh perspective and also possibly a new position. I feel that this may have been troubling you for a little while and that this troubling in your mind over this could have been going on in the months of January, this month of February, and also going on into March. You may have even been worrying about it a little bit before that. I do see that there's a great impetus of change for you, and I see you, Capricorn, wanting to get some new plans and projects off the ground. You may make this may affect your own income or your own money because you may invest some of your own funds to get something off the ground and invest some capital in something that gets something going. Now, this could be projects and plans you want to see happen. This could be a starting your own company or business. This could be investing in someone. This could be a, a multitude of things, but I feel that if any of you Capricorns have been feeling frustrated about where you're working, and if you do not change your job, you may invest your own money in getting something going yourself. Whether you leave the job that you're in or not, you may start something on your own and have two things going at the same time. So uh, <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense. To some of you Capricorns out there. Now, in the next position in your reading, you have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, to me, is a card that symbolizes being trapped in an emotional prison. This can also be feeling trapped in a circumstance. It can be feeling trapped in a job, trapped in a relationship, trapped in a position in your life within your family. Uh, and it can be an emotional prison, like you're trapped emotionally and you don't know what to do. You are, the woman is blindfolded in this picture, so there is unknown forces and factors that work here. Not everything is out in the open for you to see or for you to fully understand. There are either secrets or there are unknown factors. I hear Capricorns hate to be the bearer of bad tidings to anybody. But I do feel like you would like to get some ball rolling here. So you may be forced to say something that you don't want to say of a negative nature. You may have some judgment that's been held against you or held against you from something that you didn't complete, something you didn't finish. I feel that some of you Capricorns are tired of running over the same old ground and that some people need to step up to the plate in your life. Like, you are not always going to be the ball carrier. You are not always going to be the one leading the charge and lighting the way and solving all the problems. You need some other people to step up to the plate and ease your mind and ease your burden. I do see some of you Capricorns coming to some conclusions about how you can make 
wiser investment choices or get more for your money, get more out of your money, make your money work more for you or um, creating more financial stability for you. I feel sometimes you're running along on a smooth path and then something comes in and interrupts you and then it comes down and you get back on your smooth path and then something comes in to interrupt you again. This is uh, seems like it's been a pattern maybe that's been going on for you a while. For some of you, I feel this has been going on for three years. For some of you, it's been going on for three months. Some of you, it's been five months. So uh, you have some period of time here that keeps getting interrupted when you're at peace. I feel that some of you that are dissatisfied with your job are going to strike out on your own and actually start up your own company. And I feel that you have made a lot of connections in your past and that you are going to be bringing these connections forward into what you're going to be doing and working on in the future. If you're a Capricorn that is not working, I feel that you are going to be starting to think about making some financial gain for yourself or just getting out of whatever rut you're in and find a job or start, you know, set out and start to work um, or maybe even start your own website and uh, your own creative pursuits and use them to make an income, something you already do, something you already work on. You may be uh, lending a hand to some projects as well. If you're involved in Habitat for Humanity, you may start building some homes or helping out in charitable ways uh, because I see you stepping out of ruts. Like I'm seeing you, if you're not working Capricorn and you've created things at home, maybe you're an excellent cook, maybe you're going to start your own catering business or you're going to go to catering companies and say, hey, guess what? I've got a lot of knowledge about food. Do you need prep cooks? Do you need somebody to help you serve? Do you want some help with, uh, you know, preparing your food or getting a restaurant job or starting out your own baking business and making your own pastries and selling them to restaurants and, uh, you know, country clubs and catering businesses and starting out some, like even some cottage business from your home that you then go out and get accounts and start your own uh, little business here. Some of you may even go work at Home Depot or some kind of home repair store that's big like that or a hardware store or getting involved in, because I'm getting building projects here and building things and I'm also getting cooking is coming up and creative things. So I'm seeing those two things, but it's not just uh, you know, about those fields per se, but either way, no matter what, I feel like Capricorns are going to be striking out on their own, getting out of ruts, whether you're a working one or a non-working Capricorn right now, but getting things going on your own is really highlighted. Um, now, crowning your reading, you have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords to me is an air sign male. This would be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This air sign male, he does not come in quietly. He's somebody that's got a bold ideas, bold opinions, comes in forcefully. He likes to problem solve. Uh, truth is usually an issue with this guy. He can either be very truthful and brutally frank with the truth. He's a good guy to have on your team. He can be psychic. He can see into the future. He can have good clairvoyance. But if he's operating from the negative side, he can be prone to confusion, prone to scattering his energies and his forces, and he can also bring problems. He can uh, have uh, truth be an issue where he is not truthful, and he can be telling lies and creating havoc through just disruptive behavior. So all depends on who this air sign night of swords is for you Capricorns. I feel for some of you Capricorns he's going to be aggravating you like he comes up to me like he's a thorn in your side. For some of you you may actually travel with him through your work and go around to places 
uh, where he is by your side, like a coworker or a partner in business or a partner in travel. Um, he comes up first to me that way. I feel like he is a lot for you to tolerate. And I feel like whoever he is to you, you have very little tolerance for him. If he's a romantic partner, I'm going to say I'm surprised because I do not feel like you have the patience or tolerance for him at all. So he's not really jumping up to me as a romantic partner here. First, I see work, first and foremost, a business partner or a work-related partner. I feel he's very grasping. He needs you to help him with this. He needs you to help him with that. I feel like there's part of him that's a big taker, and he feels like he needs you to give him everything, all your information, all your knowledge, help him do this, help him do that. He could also be a brother. He comes up that he could be a sibling to you. Uh, he could also be some other family member to you. He could even be a friend. But first and foremost, he comes up to me first as somebody that you have to deal with because you, he works with you or for you. He could even be a son, but I'm going to tell you what, well, whoever he is to you, he wants you to straighten things out for him. He wants you to make things right. He's very needy and clinging and grasping, at least at this time. And I feel like he creates mm, kind of trouble or like disruption for you, like annoyance. Um, he could have some, he could come up for some of you. He's a guy that may have heart trouble. He may have heart palpitations or has had like a stroke or some kind of heart issue. Could have circled around him in the month of December. Um, the strongest energy that comes up from for me reading this is that he wants you to help him. He wants you to assist him. It's going to be up to you whether you want to do that or not. I do feel that to some degree, you are going to give him what he needs, but then at some point you will put your boundaries up, shut the door, and close the store down of your helping him or giving him information, whatever help this is, helping him. You'll do it for a time. I don't feel that you're not going to do it at all. I do feel that you do it, but ultimately I feel like at some point you close the door on that. Doesn't mean you don't deal with him or talk to him anymore, but I do feel like there is going to be a shutdown coming from you to this Knight of Swords. Now, in the next position, I don't like this card for you. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Please sh don't shoot the messenger. You do have the tower. And the tower, to me, this is a, a major arcana card. It is not a minor, so it can hold some weight here. This is a card that symbolizes, like, um, an explosion. This could be a fight with someone, an argument. This could be uh, a fight that ends a relationship. It could be a fight that ends a friendship, that ends a romance. It could be uh, a fight that ends a job like situation. This could be getting fired. This could be firing someone else. This could be family situations, explosions there. It could be so many things. I do feel that, uh, you know, it's a shame because Capricorns are usually so fun and friendly and outgoing and generate a lot of goodwill and good faith with people. A lot of, lots of people like Capricorns. I do feel like you have some, like, dislike coming to you from some people. I do feel some of you are going to be making your way out of a situation with a bang. I feel that if you're someone that works for a big company, I feel that the government comes in here and makes some changes in the state you're in or with what your company works on or is allowed to do or just, you know, governmental changes. Also, this could be just the company changing itself where it is um, downsizing and firing a lot of people. This could be letting people go because I'm getting that sense like people leaving like with a bang. That also comes up here too. So it's not just specifically at you only. This is circumstances circling around you. And I feel that you're going to find your way out of this mess. 
and many of you Capricorns, again, not to belabor this point, are going to strike out on your own. I feel that things in, for some of you, depending on what kind of work you're in, there's some things that have changed nationally that is affecting what's happening at your workplace or your work environment. Some of you Capricorns out there are going to find out that there's been embezzlement at the company that you work in or for or are affiliated to that some uh, executives or higher ups have done some embezzling and they are going to get cast out and uh, things are going to change. There'll be people will be replaced and um, it's not going to be the same. April and May definitely sees you through to better times. I feel that this month of February, may, you may be feeling like you're facing some challenges in the workplace, maybe even going into March. But I feel like once you get into April, especially May, but April and May see you out, see you out of these challenges. But I feel like the challenges feel like they're on top of you now. Like to me, I feel like it's more like February and February, March. And I feel in general for you Capricorns, people are on the attack from all sides, not just at you, but I feel like you're like kind of like in a crossfire of a, of a lot of things going on, um, a lot of disruption in your work. Again, I keep going back to the workplace, but I'm going to tell you this, if that makes no sense to you, Please go check out your rising sign or your moon sign. If it's not your workplace, then this would be family related. That comes up second. I do feel most of you make your way out of this situation and find a new home somewhere else. Now, that doesn't mean a new home of living. This means a new home like where you're working and to surround yourself in. It can also mean home. But I feel like first when they're saying that, like, you're going to either go and start out on your own and that's your new home or you go and leave this situation and you get out of there and you start working somewhere else. That's really what I feel like is what this means, uh, what the tower means the most for you, Capricorn, in the month of February. Now, for your outcome card of the tarot part of your reading. You have a very good card. You have Ace of Cups. And Ace of Cups to me symbolizes, it's like the Holy Grail. It's like, here you go. Here's the Holy Grail. It's like an abundance, divine and blessings of abundance of all good things coming to you, especially on an emotional, in an emotional sense. This can often indicate the beginning of a new romantic and love relationship you are going to be the star in someone's eyes you are going to be the feather in someone's cap you are going to be the star of someone's business and success you are the shining jewel in someone's crown you will be this if you don't like your position yet it is coming I feel that uh, Capricorns have actually learned a lot from their mistakes. You now see things clear to new and better horizons. You have generated a lot of wealth and good support from others with whom you've worked with and encountered through your work. If any of you Capricorns are single, I do feel like a marriage proposal is in the offing for you or you will be asking someone to marry you. Uh, and it comes up as in the month of September, a relationship could start or that's when the proposal could happen. So if you're single and you haven't met anybody yet, September seems like some kind of love relationship is happening either you get engaged or you ask someone to marry you or you will meet the person of your future or your future romantically speaking i do feel that generally this year of 2015 is going to bring a lot of happiness to you and this will be a year of happiness emotionally and professionally and internal happiness. 
but I feel like this happiness really starts to play out for you or come into you in the late springtime uh, and then going into the summer because I feel like that's the time of where things really like sunny skies, things start looking up in all sorts of ways in a business sense, financial sense, emotional sense. Um, I'm just getting that sense of that. This actually turns out to be a good year for you, even though I'm not so sure you're going to be feeling like that's the way it's going in January and February and maybe even into March. You may have some doubts about that. But these challenges need to be faced and dealt with and gotten moved past so that these good things can come in. So it's kind of like you're clearing out the old and, you know, I'm seeing dry dead leaves. You're, you know, raking up those dead leaves and sweeping them out of the way because you got new things that are going to come in here. I do feel that you might be entering a contest and winning. I feel that for some of you, you are going to be giving a gift of cash, whether it's from entering a contest and winning or you get it by some other means. But I do get some of you Capricorns are going to be receiving a gift of cash, whether how it comes to you, it all depends on which Capricorn you are. I do feel that you Capricorns need to have more faith in yourself and faith in your own abilities because I feel some of you Capricorns out there have been wavering about yourself, your own knowledge, your, your own abilities, having some kind of doubts or insecurities, which I feel is rare for many of you Capricorns because you usually are very on top of, on top of it. You know what you're doing. Uh, you're smart. You know who you are. You are very grounded, uh, centered people. You uh, are in tune with yourself usually. But for some reason, I feel like maybe the past six, seven, eight months have caused you to question and doubt yourself at times. And it could be your physical appearance or it just could be your internal sense or you don't feel like your business sense is what it used to be. Or maybe your romantic picture has been like off. So this is creating doubts in you, and I hear that you need to believe in yourself uh, more because you are going to succeed in these different areas. Now, in conclusion with your angels card from the Doreen Virtues Healing with the Angels, you have the card of healing. And let's see, the healing card says for you Capricorns, You've really been watched over and guarded by angels. Uh, you have a lot of uh, spiritual presence around you that has been sending you actually healing energy and he also he um, healing and sending you promise, the feeling of promise coming to you, the promise of good things coming to you. I do feel over the course of the next five to seven months, you are going to be experiencing gain, gain of all kinds, not just monetary gain, but, uh, you know, emotionally, you're going to have gains there, uh, work-wise gains, all kinds of gain, gain uh, that's positive for you. I do feel that many of you uh, Capricorns out there are going to have the sense and feeling like you can start over again, like almost like a rebirth or feeling charged or re-energized to want to start new, start something new. This could be the new business or a new job. This could be new love, new relationship or new of some kind of change for you, like new home or just travel or to start something new, a new course of study, a new interest. It's something new, but regardless of what it is or how many different things are that you're ready to tackle Capricorn that's new, it's definitely upon you. I also get the sense that you are now turning a corner where you are feeling like you are ready to let go, let go of some old habits, old ways of thinking, any torches that you've held for anybody that maybe haven't been good for you, that have lingered in your emotional sense, I feel like you're ready to let them go. So Capricorn, I hope this reading was of help to you. 
I want to say thank you so much for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing them and for subscribing. Thank you so much for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. If you're interested in a private reading with me, please go to my website, which is posted below. The link is posted below this video. It's also posted at the end of this video, and it is www.theluckymermaid.com. And go to my order page, and there you can schedule your own appointment by clicking on the blue Schedule Now button, and it will take you through the steps that you can schedule your own appointment on the online calendar. It is booking seven months out now into July. I know that's a long wait. Um, I'm hoping I can open up some more times and make more time available. Right now, I am available only of what you see on the calendar. Um, please go back on the order page and make your payment by clicking the Buy Now button, which will take you to PayPal, and you can pay for your uh, reading at the time you book your appointment. Please make, make sure to do so because I have to cancel unpaid appointments I have a very long waiting list, so any appointments I find that are unpaid, I have to open up the time to my wait list. So please make sure to do that. And I'd like to say to you Capricorns out there, I hope you have a fantastic month of February and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.